Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Uh, today, I believe what we have is an Xbox Elite wireless controller. Uh, it is kind of interesting. I received it and it says Skrut, which is a Swedish word that kind of means scrap. Um, so I think this is actually going to be quite the challenge to fix whatever's wrong with it. Let's open this up and see what's wrong. It came basically just like this. Someone shipped it. I mean, they didn't spend a lot of money on packaging. <clears throat> so... Appears to be the controller really taped up. Kind of weird. Okay. So we have. Okay, the controller. Mm. Looks like it just takes normal batteries. I've never played with one of these before. It's got a lot of different buttons. Interesting. Okay, uh, let's get some batteries and stick them in. Let's put these in. Okay, and press this button. Uh, it doesn't appear to do anything. Okay, let's see if we plug this in with uh, USB, if it'll do anything. Okay, I have a micro USB. This is just plugged into a USB adapter, like power plug. Let's see if this does anything. Ooh, it vibrated. But I would think there was a, be a light. Maybe this one doesn't have a light. I mean, it did something, but there's no lights. Maybe it doesn't have a light. Oh, there's a light. Okay, now it's flashing. So that's a good sign. Let's see. It's in a pairing. It goes into pairing mode. And see if I unplug it. It dies. So the battery, batteries definitely aren't working. We can get some power with this. Uh, let's do some more diagnostics on an actual uh, Xbox. I have an Xbox One X. We can plug it into that and see what happens. Okay, it vibrated. Okay, overworks. I think I need to go into a game, probably. Uh, let's try, let's do Fortnite. Huh, I think A should select it, right? Yeah, maybe the A button's not working. It's still on, right? So it seems like it disconnected. Let's see if we can reconnect. Okay, it vibrated. Okay, I think it's on. I have a light. Oh, that's interesting. If I do one, two, it lights up. One, it doesn't. Let's see if I hit the home button. It's off again. I think it keeps rebooting. Yeah, I mean, we definitely have a power issue. And you see, it, it's on again. It's off. It's on. It's turning off and on. Okay, we need to solve the power problem. It's the first step. So let's start with that and see if we can take this apart and uh, figure out what the power issue is. Oh look, now it's... That's so weird. 
it's like kind of working. It has battery power right now. I have no idea. Very weird. Okay, let's uh, tear this down and see what we can find. Okay, guys, uh, I'm going to start with the tear down of this. See if we can figure out what the power issue is. Um, apparently there's a screw right here. So, so it means someone hasn't taken this apart. So that's a good sign. Okay, so it looks like we just need to pry this off. Pull this off and I'll... Okay. Came off pretty easy. There's some tape there. Kind of dirty. Let's see if we can do the other side. Uh, yeah, it just pops out. Um, I don't think you could get it off any other way, but it seemed to come off pretty clean. So it looks like we have one, two, three, four, four screws here we need to take off. Let's take these off too. Okay, that lifted off. Can I get to the back of this? So there's screw. Oh, there we go. I don't know what holds us together. Oh, there we go. Okay, we have a ribbon cable here we need to be careful with. That would be interesting to see because this is the battery power comes in. Let's see if we actually have power. Uh, okay, so the power goes into this board. Uh, this board is for the controls, so no power is going to this. So I think we can disconnect this. Yeah, because that's just the control board and that's the battery terminals, but the battery terminals are the ones here are the ones that matter. I mean, these ones link it in, but we can do some testing there. Okay. So let's see if we see anything obvious on visual inspection. I think we need to probably go deeper on this. There we go. Let's see if we can see anything. I mean, I think I'll probably have to desolder if I want it out more than that. It doesn't look like anything was spilled on the board. Oh, there's a plug here to the other board. So our power goes in this board. This is just another 
thought about it. could be shorting things out though. Let's do some continuity tests. Let's see where the battery power goes. Okay, they don't appear to be shorted at the battery terminals. Seems to be okay. Let's see if we see anything on this board. Could be causing an issue. This connection looks kind of dirty. Here, I don't know if you can see that. Uh, these metal things. The contacts don't look that great. I think we should probably take out this board. Just because those contacts were dirty, maybe something was spilled in this. And I got to that point. So to do that, we're going to desolder these connections here. Let's go ahead and do that. We're gonna desolder this now. That was pretty easy. Now we can remove the board. See some corrosion here. That's all. Alright, let's take out this board. Okay, from looking into the Microsoft, I realized something now. This looked really odd, and I could figure it out what was going on here, but under the microscope, this is actually a plug and it's it's ripped off on this board here. So the first step is going to be to solder this back on and resolve this issue. See, that's it. <laughs> it's not supposed to be like that. So I'm going to try to put the connector on here as best I can. And I would use hot air with this but I would probably melt the connector piece that's made out of plastic here. So we're going to use a technique called drag soldering. What this is, is we use a lot of flux and we take a glob of lead solder or silver solder and we glide it across. And I'm going to show it here. Let me see if I can get some focus. Move it up a bit. Now what I'm doing is I'm getting the flux and we're just going to kind of put this on here. Now it's better to have too much than too little. If you have too little, this won't work. So I'm put a little bit more. Okay, that looks good. Now I'm just gonna get my soldering iron and I'm gonna put some silver solder on it uh, or lead and I'm just gonna drag it across. This is pretty hot. You can see it's boiling the flux. You might get some bridges here or like get connected to that capacitor. Just keep dragging across. And if you get one, oh, there we go. So just drag that across the bridge and then it'll unbridge it. So that looks pretty good, I think. Just making sure it's nice and hot. And as it cools, you can kind of see the points turning. And those connections look pretty good. Now we just have to do the other side. Okay, now we're at the other side. I'm gonna put some flux on it. Uh, maybe need to add a little bit more here. There you go. Putting some more on. Okay, that looks good. Now I'm just putting some solder at the end of my tip of my soldering iron. I'm gonna drag it across. Okay, yeah, looks pretty good. And uh, I think that'll do it. I, uh, we have the thing soldered back, that, that connector, and the boards are together. I just want to see if it changes anything. Uh, I don't expect it to actually have any impact. So, but it turned on immediately. I didn't have to press the car button. Okay. 
I mean, let's see if the keys work. I mean, it seems to be working actually much better now. I'd be really surprised if that was the issue, but it seems to be staying on too. Well, let's let's try it with uh, the the battery. So. Oh, it came on. Uh, that's different. Let's go back. Ah. It's hard to control this. I mean, it seems to be staying on even with the battery now. I have a feeling that was actually the issue. So soldering that connection on that we you saw actually fixed it. I'm guessing this controller was dropped and it ripped that off. And because I had, I, I actually thought that I had ripped that off when I was taking it apart. But I'm guessing it was already torn off. Uh, someone probably dropped this controller and disconnected that. And for some reason, you actually need that well connected. Otherwise, your controller does not function uh, correctly. The battery didn't work. Um, even when I just tested just this board, uh, it didn't work correctly. So, looks like we solved it. I'm amazed. This is amazing. <laughs> uh, I'm very happy about it. And, uh, yeah, this is great. I'm really, yeah, I'm just excited. Um, I'm gonna put this back together and um, yeah, I guess we'll do like a final test I should do. Okay, thanks guys. So after taking this apart and putting it back together, doing additional soldering, it's definitely that connector. Uh, if you have an issue like this, definitely check it. Even the continuity test, me pressing on it, um, some, most of the time we tested okay, but I noticed if I, when it wasn't working, when I pressed on the board, it started to perform. So that's one simple test you might be able to do, is just press on the board when you have it apart. Um, but add more solder to it and solder it more. Let's test it and let's see if this thing finally works. So that's the Wi-Fi. And we have our controller showing up. And yeah, we can test all the buttons. It seemed to all work. And then we have the buttons down below. Um, I think what happens with these is this is a very heavy controller. And if you drop it, those connectors are very likely to break uh, or like come off the board. Um, so if you have dropped it, you ha are having these issues, I'd recommend taking a look at those two connector points and uh, maybe adding additional solder to it, uh, warming it up. This is a pain to take apart and put together. It does require desoldering and resoldering. Uh, so if you don't have the tools, you're not gonna really be able to, to do this. I'd recommend either finding someone who can do it for you or purchasing a soldering iron and trying it out yourself. Anyhow, thanks for watching guys. Uh, we fixed it and uh, don't forget to like and subscribe. See ya.